One percenters, welcome back to 1424 Basketball Channel, where the goal is to take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or one percent of your day to get better. For those that are new, welcome. I'm Coach Tommy. I'm a former psychologist, now a performance enhancement specialist and basketball coach. On this channel, I simplify life and basketball into three buckets, mind, body, and craft. And today's teacher take, game four, Lakers, Suns. So let's see what we can do to improve our mind today. Let's focus on the substance over the style. Focus on team stuff versus individual stuff. Roles versus positions and uh, off ball movement versus on ball movement. LeBron, AD, Chris Paul look like he looks like he's back. Not a good sign. The bigs are kind of lazy coming down the court. Andre Drummond already chilling. All right, looks like the Lakers missed or something. Andre Drummond not not busting his butt back. DeAndre Ayton running the floor. Game started 30 seconds ago. Drummond. LeBron. Nobody's getting in his way. If DeAndre misses LeBron rebounds. I mean, nobody on the Suns can stay in front of him. Great cut. I mean, uh, great cut by Jay Crowder, right? Normally, he's just standing and watching three. Schroeder has no idea where he's at. Cut, right? Chris Paul's kind of in trouble. Got a big man here. Got, got nowhere to go, right? Face cuts, right? One dribble, pump fakes, get the bigs, get them down. Find your big man on the other side. Nobody to help the helper. That's uh, Anthony Davis just running ahead and LeBron, you know, not having to use a lot of energy. Anthony Davis is the workhorse. Outlet it ahead. You got three guys focusing on Anthony Davis, even though it's not a great pass or play. Leads open to a wide open three. So one guy can on offense can dictate how hard four other guys work. Look at that little hezzy. Talk about that gun that I talk about. Ooh, look how low he gets. Right? I'm going to talk about these angles. Drop that shoulder. Right? Nice little gun there. LeBron's just going to blow by to the right or do that thing. If you look at the floor, I mean, the sell for that shot is him staring at the floor. Boop. LeBron, after, I don't know, 16, 17 years, have finally found a go-to move offensively. Stare at the floor, yank it back, shoot it. The book. It's too little. Thank you. <laughs> this should not take Anthony Davis this long to figure this out. Right? One bang in, spin off. And uh, normally I would find the glass there. Here, now you got D book on him. D book's a freaking. <laughs> A shooting guard, you're a power forward or you're seven feet tall. If you cannot just take your time and back him down. I mean, they do make this three here, right? But why not? Good Lord, Anthony Davis. Okay, why not pass fake to... to Why not quick pass fake, right? Get DeAndre Ayton to shift a little bit, step through, and then just make that little bank shot. There's so many other options other than passing out to, to Gasol for a three. I'd much rather have Anthony Davis shoot and uh, force Devin Booker to foul him or, or – uh, all the other big men to foul him. Well, this Sunday, I mean, Sunday whites for the Lakers, they're, they're going to lose this game or what? Kuzma. 
Suns, man. Every every possession matters, Suns. Come on, isn't Chris Paul yelling at you with this enough? I mean, come on, DeAndre Ayton. That's a uh, that's rookie mistake. That's inexperienced. Everything matters. Every possession matters. Everything matters. Everything is so magnified in the playoffs. Ooh, Cam Johnson. Oh, what a change in mind, right? Change of level, change of speed, change of direction. Look at LeBron gets into trouble on a, a jump behind the back bounce pass. Great awareness. Launch it. Launch it. Oh, why didn't you launch it? You're just going to go into your spin cycle. Oh, with the jam. Okay, LeBron, you got a little extra bounce in your legs today. Normally, that's just his little layup. LeBron's locked in. Because how do I know he's locked in? Not because of the dunk, because look at this. He's running back. Look, he's actually sprinting back. Some players, you know when they're going to go one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, Kuzma is just one of those guys. <laughs> Tough. He makes that. No. Oh. I wonder how much bigger Devin Booker is going to get now that he's uh, playing against the Lakers and basically terrorizing them he's always been a stud man okay jay crowder going up and challenging the big not not settling for threes run what are you doing chris paul He is, he is so like, uh, it's like, come on, man, hurry the fuck up. Hurry up, hurry up. Normally this this could easily be a, you know, here, Anthony Davis is going to come out and then you pass it to the big. Uh, you're forcing that big to run. Chris Paul's forcing that big to run just in case this is a miss. He has this uh, advantage rebounding because Chris Paul knows that uh, Andre Drummond was on the floor. Chris Paul understands all the little edges, all the little advantages that you gotta you gotta work for. Wes Matthews. Oh, LeBron, throw it up. Caruso, okay, off the glass. Anytime LeBron gets a steal. Like this, he throws it around him right here, like pick up at the park. How is LeBron? LeBron, I need it. I need that left leg studied. It's a goddamn alien left leg. Mm. Do you? I mean, Anthony Davis can do this. Do you want him doing this? Chris Paul, you filthy boy. Push cross, bunch of little steps, right? Remember these concepts that I keep coming back to, the ability to disconnect your feet from the ball. Push cross, steps, 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 right? Pounds, throws that ball out in front again, in and out, and then it's a drag, and he just snatches it. So it's like a snatch and a pullback. LeBron. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I hate when people fall. What leg does he grab? Is that his left leg? Groin? Pull the groin? How did he land?
just looks like he kind of landed on uh, DeAndre Aiden's foot and kind of uh, shocked his groin a little bit. So he just pulled his groin, strained his groin. Oh, did he land on his foot? So uh, that looks very unfortunate. It looks like a groin strain. doesn't look like it's musk, uh, like an ankle or a knee or anything like that. That is not good. Oh, they're going to show it here again. Um, so you just pulled it. I mean, landing kind of uh, unaware of where your legs are going to be, and you land like that. You shocked. The left. Yeah, that thing's tightened up. Oh, man, I don't like to be right, but I said about the mechanics and the landings and the way his legs move and, and things are connected. Achilles, calf, hamstring, now groin. Yes, they are all connected. Um, a groin is one of those things like a calf. It, uh, depending on the level of strain, it, it'll feel like it's okay. And a groin is very, very sensitive, especially for basketball. If you try to slide, if you try to cut, if you try to twist and turn and explode, that thing will uh, act up. And so you guys kind of see it's moving up the chain. Uh, Achilles, calf hamstring, groin, and uh, everything attaches pretty much around the hip and the spine, right? So uh, not good for Laker fans. So if you, if you placed your money on the, on the Suns to win the series, based off of mechanics, you'd be pretty happy right now because I'm sure the odds for the Suns to win this series are, is very, very high. Wait, what just happened? Oh, he caught an elbow. They're back there fighting. Jay Crowder and Andre Drummond are back there fighting. Andre Drummond too busy fighting. Oh, yeah. Throw it down and stare at him one time. Andre Drummond, if, you, if you're trying to be a bully, uh, if you flopping like this, it kind of, uh, kind of uh, ruins you a little bit. If you're trying to act like a tough guy down on the other end and fight Jay Crowder and then you just flopping like this. So Andre Drummond, uh, I'm not sure if you're a tough guy or not. Kuzma, what is going on with the? <clears throat> Underrated Mikhail Bridges. Chris Paul snaking, keep it, keeping the, uh, Guy behind him, run into a spot, controlled fadeaway. Here it is again. This time it's a step back. When I talk about right selection, sequence, um, duration, and accuracy, I need to name this. I don't want to call it sad. <laughs> the sad this is like the success magic matrix here right so there there's so many things you can select for when you're training when you're working when you're coaching like what are you optimizing for what are you coaching what are you emphasizing what things are you selecting out what is important what is not important what's semi-important right so when it comes from a one-on-one -on -one training perspective like you have to understand where you get your shots from are you getting it from the top are you getting it from the middle are you getting it from the corner you know are you the snake guy are you chris paul right so if you're chris paul and you're always coming here you got to work on these type of shots right you got to work on your snake getting to here controlled phase controlled one step backs this is if you're chris paul kind of person if you're a marcus morris um a ton of your shots are just going to come from here because you're just standing around and watching lebron james you're going to get a few catch and shoot so one dribble come out this way right one dribble pump fake this way one dribble coming in right 
or just catch and shoot, catch and shoot, slide, catch and shoot, right? Maybe you're here. When you're in season, when you're in season, right? You got to work on the stuff that where you're going to get your looks at. You got to work on it from here and here and here. If you're, But off season, if you're trying to expand your game, then work on your snakes, work on your dribbles, work on over dribbling, work on your hezzies and all that stuff. But uh, you got to understand who you are, where you're at, where you're getting your looks, what your role is, all these other things before you just go into doing like a million different drills, two ball dribbles, three ball dribbles, finishing, right? 99% of the mark time, Marcus Morris ain't going to be going to the rim. So him trying to work on every finish like Kyrie Irving, I mean, it's just a waste of his time. He should just be working on catch and shoot threes, catch and shoot threes, as boring as it is, catch and shoot threes, 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 threes. threes, threes, threes. All right, enough of that. It just drives me nuts. Ben Macklemore making a sighting. LeBron is just too slow. This is, this is, you know, when you get old, it's defensively where you get exposed the most. Offensively, like I said, you can control the defense, but when you're coming out here, like LeBron's not coming out to the screen. He's not running or sprinting. I mean, he thinks he's fast, but he's trying to jump this screen, but he's slow as shit laterally, right? LeBron's an L train. He goes in a straight line. All right, so... Quicker guy's going to get around. Not even quicker guys. Just almost anybody can get around LeBron now. So LeBron's biggest deficiency is defensively, one-on-one -on -one defensively. It ain't, it ain't offense. His offense is better than – pretty much better than it's ever been. Oh, good block. Jay Crowder switching up. Jay Crowder, you know, three times I've seen him go in the paint. Jay Crowder's a big boy, man. So LeBron here using his body, using less of that athleticism. All right, this is this is the right leg. This ain't the left leg. Push cross. Another push cross. <coughs> Get into him. Oh, that is the left leg. Just go right around him. <laughs> See, so I, I mean, LeBron has no chance against Cameron Payne, and Cameron Payne isn't like the shiftiest dude, right? Ice Age, boom, one jab, skip, hezzy, LeBron's up, right? You can't get your feet off the floor this goddamn much. All right, and, and he's so wide open. His stance is so wide open already. Like, he, he's given this, so. Exposed LeBron. Lakers are getting smashed. Nice move, Kuzma. This is a this is a playmaker special, right? Throw the guy open, right? He doesn't even know he's open. Screen and roll, right? Chris Paul holds it up between the legs, freezes Montrez Harold. He's just waiting for uh, DeAndre Ayton to get open. Right. He doesn't he doesn't want to give him a little lob. He's just throwing it here. So DeAndre Aiden literally has zero to think about other than just catch it and just put it in. Schroeder. Look at Chris Paul just harassing the shit out of LeBron. Right. Just just get LeBron tired. Just get him tired. LeBron does not have good handles. It's like he's not very shifty. 
especially with a little guy on him. He's shifty for a big dude. Yes, so. He books just going to hold this up and jack it up. Oh, my God. What is West Matthews doing trying to flop for, for a call there? So, no Anthony Davis. Looks like he's not coming back. So this is good. I mean, this is very traditional, right? Try to post up LeBron now. Jay Crowder fights over, right? So smart job by Caruso. Swing the ball real quick, right? So now you change the angle. If you have to throw this, it's a very hard lob pass over Booker and over Crowder. So you have to drop it in a bucket pretty well. But as soon as you swing this, they're open. Uh, an alley opens up for LeBron and uh, Gasol. So recognize that right away. Gasol's freaking smart. He throws it right away. Like no, no thought about this, right? He already knows. He's like, yo, yo, Caruso, give me the ball. I see him. He's getting, he's getting uh, played on top. Yo, give me the ball, Caruso. Hurry up. And as soon as he gets it, that's intelligence. Great intelligence, Gasol and LeBron. 10 point lead, 12 point lead. Um, you got to milk LeBron somehow. LeBron has no chance against Chris Paul. I mean, he's, he's stepping up, I guess. He's trying to step up and, and lead. Um, <laughs> LeBron, you got no fucking chance. Like, not a chance in goddamn hell. I mean, I, I get it mentally. Maybe you're trying to set a tone for your guy to play defense, but you're way too goddamn slow out here. LeBron cannot navigate these screens, right? So it looks like he's trying hard. That's terrible. If I'm a coach, I'm like, LeBron, shut the fuck up. You cannot guard Chris Paul out there. Um, you're not agile enough, and, and it looks like you're working hard, but you're just exposing us all. That's that's got to be Schroeder on him, uh, maybe, maybe Caruso, maybe even Ben Macklemore. Uh, no way LeBron should be out there. Looks like the Lakers are in trouble. It's over. 2-2. Two, two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, what did you guys learn? I mean, I learned Anthony Davis's injury. Like I told you, I made that video a long time ago, right? LeBron, I mean, Anthony Davis is taking time out. I told you, his mechanics aren't bad. The way he moves, his ankle, it just looks so bad. It's, around, it's about that time. He's got enough mileage. He gets banged around enough. He, he tried to rush back. I told you when, when he had that one dunk, I think it was against the Suns. He dunked and said, I'm back. You don't say you're back. You just don't. That means you're still thinking about your injuries. Lakers are in big time trouble. They got nobody to stop Chris Paul. Um, I don't even think Chris Paul's scoring the ball. I think he might be injured, but he's too quick. Nobody, nobody on the Lakers can stay in front of him or Devin Booker. LeBron, at his age, at his size, at his uh, mobility level, can he carry a team without Anthony Davis? No. Not going to happen. Anthony Davis doesn't come back, man. Laker fans, sucks to be you. Suns fans, it's a great time to be you. Um, what do you guys think? Am I crazy? I think the Suns are winning if Anthony Davis isn't coming back um, flat out. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.